Have you ever wondered how difficult it is to st how difficult it is? I'm sorry to start a Pokeball 190. Well, this is my little demonstration of actually how simple and ergonomic the whole plane was with the Pokeball 199 Dora. So, without further ado, uh, here we go. So, here we are in the cockpit. Uh, the plane is in pretty much storage configuration. It's in it's in a hangar, and let's look around a bit. So, we have here an electrical kill switch. MW84 selector apparently not implemented. Uh, radio volume, radio channel selector, a throttle, of course. Here we have a series of buttons for landing gear and flaps, indicator for landing gear and flaps, trimming, um, and, uh, MW50, uh, this is for the fuel booster, magnetos, IFF, uh, instrument panel brightness, no this is the electric kill switch, I apologize, emergency equipment destruction, well apparently it has that, IFF, uh, landing gear emergency release, fuel pump, um, selector, uh, MBG emergency mode handle, I don't know what it is, uh, jettison fuselage store, so if you have bombs, you can just simply jettison them, uh, temperature and pressure um, indicators, fuel indicator, fuel tank um, selector indicator, oxygen controls, then you have the, I guess, seven pack, well, six pack with altimeter, speed in kilometers per hour. This is in uh, meters. ADI, uh, vertical velocity indicator, horizontal situational indicator. ATA, I think this is, has something to do with the uh, engine button. I don't exactly remember what it stands for. And this is the RPM. Here we have. Uh, electrical systems, uh, clock, canopy closure, and fuel pump uh, settings. And here, gun sight aiming correction. These I have never used, but it's relatively simple. So how do we start it? Of course, on the upper panel we have a adjustable gun sight and master arm switch with indicators for the guns in the wings and the fuselage. Uh, the plane itself of course has two machine guns and uh, two 20 millimeter uh, auto cannons. Finally here we have controls for rockets if we have any and bomb fusing options but we will not use these for this video. The purpose for this is to just start out. So we will go here right under this uh, canopy control crank and here we have a bunch of fuses. It's that simple. So, battery. Yes, this plane actually has a 28 volt battery, I guess. Generator. Instrument lights, if we want them. I guess we want them. Then we can adjust the instrument lighting brightness from here. We don't really need that brightness. Daytime. Radios, uh, navigation radios, I think. Fetal heating, which is a, basically landing gear power. Yeah, if you don't power this, your landing gear, which is electrically actuated, will not work. And flap streamer and ADI power on. I'm going to close these. It's a good idea to close them so you don't accidentally bump into them. Uh, now that we have electrical power, we can actually see how much fuel we have, so in the rear tank we have two, two, 200 liters, and in the front we have 2.3. Okay, so we know that. Now we need to check if the altimeter is set, uh, is set to all altitude, it basically should point to zero. This, uh, this ADI... Um, Attitude indicator should remain cage. Throttle is set to off. Flaps are full down. Okay. So let's continue. First, of course, we will need uh, to fire up the fuel pumps. That's a one and two. Uh, both pumps. So we'll be using both tanks. 
Um, a little comparison to the Mustang, this plane does not require any sort of uh, fuel tank selector. Of course you can, but um, like the Mustang, so you need to choose either fuselage or wing tanks. Uh, it does it mostly automatically. So what does the uh, plane also need? We will also need to set the magnetos, so this will basically just do the ignition of the fuel as far as I understand it in the engine. And we will set the throttle to idle, so aus, uh, this is in German, I just keep it in German because well, it's just, it's nicer to have it in the original language. So what's next? We have magneto set, we have everything set, now we're going to open the starter cover. So how does this plane start? It starts by using an inertial starter, which if I remember right is electrically powered, which will spool up over 25 seconds. Then, using that, it will actually start the Jumo to 2013 engine, uh, which is an inline uh, engine, not radial, compared to the other Focke Wolf 190 that I actually have. So, to do this, we will just activate the fuel pumps. And finally... There's a very weak sound, probably you don't hear it in the background, but... And there we go, the plane itself is started. The GMO 213 engine is ready, I'm gonna close the starter again. And what's next? I'm going to set the flaps in correct configuration. Here we actually have the uh, stabilizer trimmer. I'm going to raise the flaps to take off position. There should be an indicator on the wing, but it's easy to just follow this button. And we have here, as I told you, these. Uh, lights that indicate the position of our flaps. Trim is, trimming is neutral, which is how it should be. I'm going to turn on the oxygen, which is again we need because we need it because this is a high altitude fighter. And I'm going to close the canopy. It is a pressurized canopy. I think I'm not sure exactly. Of course, we would go to channel three where we have the tower. ADC. RPK is our airport. Well, we should request startup. Now, this ADI uh, should be, I think, uncaged on the runway, but regardless, this is how we start it up. What I'm going to do next, I'm going to warm up the engine a little bit by using these indicators. So I'm going to apply the tow brakes. going to set the RPM to about 1000. Uh, I have a governor actually dealing with that. I don't have to do anything about it. I simply don't want the plane to start moving. And here we have hydraulic pressure, coolant temperature, I think, no, water temperature, coolant. And this is, again, pressure, it's kilograms per uh, cubes, cubic centimeter, but that's how it is. Oh, yes, also I had forgotten here, it has two fuel indicators, so it will tell you if your fuel tanks are either uh, on or off. And IFF, you can set it to whatever, ch uh, whatever channel you might have set up for your mission. But that's about it. Now the plane is started and ready for taxi. I'm sorry if I wasn't very clear, but regardless, it's a very simple procedure, and the plane itself has a very ergonomic cockpit for a World War II airplane. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and uh, thank you for tuning in.